In January of 2020, Mission Outreach celebrated 35 years of giving. The auction dinner netted $18,500. And thanks to your generosity, it was able to support our missionaries in the Dominican Republic and in-house initiatives such as Family Promise, Community Garden, and the Pershaw Ministry. We also extended financial support to selected nonprofits that provide food, clothing, and shelter, such as advocates of Ozaki County, Interfaith Caregivers, and Captain's House. Six weeks later, COVID-19 changed the world. Food and home insecurity has increased exponentially. And connecting to our brothers and sisters and finding new ways to serve is more important than ever. As shutdown began, church members and staff went to work sewing over 1,000 masks for nursing homes, hospitals, and fellow members. The Pershaw Ministry, founded by Irene Sullivan, led by Marie Witter, made dozens of blankets, hats, mittens, and scarves for the sick and homebound. Meal sites and food collection sites began operating with paid staff only. We continue to provide dessert and Thanksgiving ingredients to the St. Vincent de Paul Northside Meal Site, which offers meals to clients curbside. They expect to resume in-person dinners served by volunteers once a significant percent of Milwaukee is vaccinated. The Mission Outreach Committee also organized pop-and-drop drive throughs to collect food for the Hunger Task Force and family sharing food pantries safely and efficiently. Other important outreach activities were continued by a few dedicated volunteers. Sandy Christensen continues to schedule home-delivered meals for Ozaki County. Clients of Family Promise now stay at the Chalet Hotel. Pam Layton schedules meals for the residents in the program four to five weeks per year. Connie Pouquet helps secure a large grant which will fund the Port Lights Project, a new housing facility in the future. In the summer months, members of the church and community enjoyed gardening in 14 family plots children's ministry garden and memory garden for Byron Jackson. In the last two years, with the help of Green Thumb and Lee's Jim Layton, the neighborhood garden and community plot produced over 2,700 pounds of produce, which was shared with food pantries, family promise, and our Sunday free market. Linda Morty continues to direct activities and the maintenance of the Marsh Meadow with husband Ed and an army of volunteers. In the fall, Pastor Sue invited the community to join her in the blessing of the pets. A new initiative of Mission Outreach has been the addition of the Midwest Mission Distribution Center trailer to establish Mumsy as a permanent collection site in Wisconsin. The center is one of eight Umcor depots and is focused on health, education, disaster relief, and microbusiness. Together, we intend to be known as the central collection site for emergency relief in southeast Wisconsin. This Christmas, Susan Yorio and Karen Stern are again organizing the Giving Tree for Pathfinders a nonprofit dedicated to serving and protecting at-risk youth and young adults dealing with homelessness. Last year, thanks to your generosity, gifts and gift cards valued over $2,200 were delivered to Pathfinders for clients in need. Also, Maryland's Whistler helped organize clothing collections for repairs of the breach. Clients need new socks and underwear, winter outerwear and accessories. The newest initiative of Mission Outreach was the establishment of the Church of the Vaccination Site. Beginning in February of 2021, Mequon United Methodist Church began working with Wiltopia Pharmacy in Beansville. Connie Pouquet, Karen Huffman, and Sue Salverson organized an incredible group of volunteers to welcome recipients to the church. At first, word of mouth and phone calls alerted interested seniors that there was limited supply available with assistance in making appointments and completing paperwork. Later, the church was able to reach out to eligible members of the community and digitize appointments. In all, over 900 vaccinations were delivered at 11 vaccination and booster clinics. Bumpsy's focus on health continues with monthly blood pressure checks and walks organized by Sue Salverson and our amazing team of nurses. In early 2021, in lieu of an auction, members of Mumsy responded generously to an appeal by the Mission Outreach Committee and provided over $13,000 in financial support. With the future unknown, we remain committed to providing our fellow human beings with basics such as food, clothing, and shelter. We know more changes lie ahead. A few months ago, we celebrated the retirement of missionaries Gordon and Ardell Grainer. Next year, we anticipate a gap in mission trip participants and plan to support our young adults who accept leadership positions. To limit risk, we do not plan to have an in-person auction in 2022 to raise funds. Instead, we will make an annual appeal for direct donations. Please help us again as you have in the past. Also, for fun, we'll add a few silent auction favorites, such as parking spots and sporting events, offered online and after church services in February. 
Stay tuned for more information. And once again, thanks to each of you for contributing your time and treasure to make God's love real. Thank you.